A pretty fierce storm rolled through Butler County last night, and residents woke up today to the news that it was, in fact, a low level tornado. But those in its path say there was nothing weak about it. Brenda Waters has more. You often hear people say it sounds like a train. Mm -hmm. It was just a deafening roar. And I said, What in the heck was that? It was a tornado. Leaving behind toppled lawn furniture, overturned flower pots, uprooted trees, and downed tree limbs and power lines in Nancy Gill's yard. So last night we had a weak EF0 tornado uh, affect the Renfrew area of Butler County. <laughs> Tornadoes are rated on a scale from 0 to 5 on the enhanced Fujita scale. And this one fell in the enhanced Fujita uh, class zero, which means winds between 65 and 85 miles an hour. I could hear it. I could actually hear it moving over the house and away from the house. It was that quick. It was that quick. The roar was so loud, but yet the movement of that tornado was so fast. Three meteorologists from the National Weather Service were here this morning for several hours, and they told me even before arriving, they knew a tornado had passed through here. The reason we can see this so good is because we're close to the radar. And this is a classic signature. The hook. Yeah, like a comma. The storm was fast moving and left a path of destruction. The National Weather Service calls it a weak tornado, but Nancy Gill sees it a little differently. I don't think my heart could live through another one that was any higher than that. Thankfully, there was no damage to Gill's house, but her flower garden will need some work. She told me she often holds tours here, but it will be some time before that will happen again. Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.